What's up everybody? Welcome back to my laboratory where safety is number one priority. A tree fell down on my driveway yesterday and I went to cut it and my chin so so dull I cannot cut it. Takes too much time and too much energy. So today I'm going to sharpen it and I thought why not show it to you how to sharpen a chainsaw as well. Because it's good to know how to sharpen your chainsaw and you never know when you're going to do it. Also, a lot of people I know just take it to the store and let their shop to sharpen it and it's about $7. Sharpen it yourself a lot cheaper and it's actually only like 10 minutes, 15 minutes and you can sharpen up your chainsaw really fast and save yourself a $7 per chain. First of all, we're going to do a little comparison. We got a really dull chain on a chainsaw and we're going to try to cut a piece of wood and then we're going to sharpen it and I'll show you how to sharpen it. And then after we sharpen, we're going to cut off same piece of wood and we'll see the difference. Let's not burn it up, it's smoking. Okay, as you can see, it's so dull. When he applied a little pressure on the wood, it's just getting stuck because it's so dull. And also, it's burning up the chainsaw. It gets so hot, you could see sparks flying out and it gets really, really hot and smoky. You don't wanna do that because you're gonna ruin your chainsaw. Make sure you sharpen your chains very well and you're going to save your energy with that too and make your job a lot easier. First of all, how do we know what angle do we sharpen our chainsaw? Every chainsaw is different, every chain is different, different length, different sizes. This one is 18 inches. So on the box, when you buy it right here, it tells you the model of the chain or whatever you call it. 26 RS. But on the back of the box right here, 26 RS. And if you follow that, it says 30 degrees. That's how you sharpen it, a 30 degree angle. Also, if you're going to get a rat tail, what size do you need? Same thing in the back of the box. 26 RS and right here, 3 sixteenths. 4.8 millimeter, 3 sixteenths. So that's how you pick out what size is your sharpener supposed to be. That's even more important because look how many different kinds there is. There's a lot. All this usually at 30 degree, but that's very important the sharpener ones. I got right here sharpening kit, pretty cheap. It's a hand sharpening kit. I really love the holder. Boom, you got yourself chainsaw file and a chainsaw file guide right here. 30 degree angle line, this one and this one right here. Flat file and this little tool. I'll show you what this is for in a minute. Before you even go into sharpen it, Grab a marker and actually mark it up somehow, maybe on the top right here or on the bottom. It will come off when you're going to cut actual wood later. So I'm going to mark it up very well because I don't want to sharpen it same link more than once. Boom. So I'm going to put this marker in my kit. So what does this tool do? When you put your file, you see this line is parallel to the chainsaw. And that's what you want, you see? Parallel to this chainsaw, and then you're gonna go forward. You do not want to go backwards this way. You wanna go parallel, you see this line to that? You wanna go forward, two, and three. Three times is plenty, and you don't have to put too much pressure on it. And count how many times you sharpen on each little tooth because if you do 10 times on one and three times on the other one, they will be uneven. You want them to be even. And you see I'm skipping this one because I'm just gonna go around and do the same thing on the other side. You see how this parallel to my chainsaw? Also very important part, you wanna hold this at 90 degree angle. You don't wanna sharpen it down like that or down this way so 
90 degrees, 30 degrees and go forward like this. Boom. Boom. And boom. Feels really sharp and beautiful now. Next, very important tool, you see this chainsaw is pretty old and you see we filing it down, it goes away and this knob is actually going to be a lot longer than this part so we need to file this as well. We got this tool right here, we're gonna lay it down like that and boom, you can feel it if there is a knob. I don't know if you can see that but there is a little bit of a knob sticks out. So what we're going to do is use this tool and a flat file and just go like this. Let me show you what we're doing. Go to the next one. You put it in and slide it back and then file it. Simple. Put it in, slide it back. Okay guys, now the chainsaw is sharp. Let's see the difference, how well will it cut that same wood. Wow. Boom, do you see that? A lot faster. This is by the way, a very old chain probably a third time we sharpen it after two times sharpening you probably want to get a new chain but yeah it cut a lot faster a big difference don't you think well guys what do i think about this kit i think it's very useful you can definitely sharpen your chainsaw but i don't think it's the best way and not the easiest way that's for sure so if you want to see other ways to sharpen chainsaw like this video let me know in comments below and that's pretty much it for this video. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.